How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. And, uh, yeah, it is blonde barley wine time. If you actually look at it, it's pretty much halfway full. Why? Because I already drank some. Um, I do a radio show on the weekends um, with a couple people, and uh, they send us beer. Sometimes there are leftovers. So uh, I took this leftover back home to review because it is a delectable leftover in the form of a blonde barley wine by Firestone Walker called Hell Dorado. Uh, Hell Dorado, they've actually made it for a couple of years, well, quite a few years, but they've never actually bottled it before um, up until this year. So super excited to give it a whirl. So there you go. And that's why it's got really annoying little blue thing on top and whatever. Anyway, uh, as far as what it says in a bottle, Firestone Walker Proprietors Vintage Hell Dorado 2015, number one. Um, yeah, other than that, Blonde Barley Wine, 13.2% alcohol by volume, and that's pretty much it. Firestone Walker's labels are always fucking awesome. They're like classic, quintessentially classy, like they don't actually go over the top and, and do kind of crazy shit, so yeah. Super excited to give it another roll, considering I already had it. I have two uh, gamooks off on the side here who choose not to be on camera. And we'll do a little, ah, uh, nice little pop on there. Let's see what the sucker has to offer. Like I said, it was already open, but it should have decent carbonation. Let's see what we got going on. Give me your glasses. Uh, there we go. Go and then we'll see what we have left over. So the first things first. Really, no head to speak of. I mean, it's not a thing where um, I've ha sat on it for a couple hours. It's it, it really had no head to begin with. A little bit off white colored head. Um, it, it looks like actually like a uh, almost like a hazy double IPA is pretty much what you're getting off that sucker. So yeah, she looks like a blonde barley wine. Let's see what she smells like. It's like a alcoholic vermouthy kind of vanilla coconut. It's pretty much what you're getting off of it. Yeah, like a boozy, a boozy boozy. Fluffer dunker. That's kind of what I'm getting off that sucker. Yeah. So, what are you whispering over there, motherfucker? I'm whispering stuff. A cart next week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Whispering off, off camera, douches. Anyway. That's you, babe. So, it smells like a vanilla coconutty, kind of like fluffing on a little booze bomb. Uh, see what she tastes like. Cheers. It's weird because I said this earlier. When you have, like, stouts, um, or you have barley wines, you have a, like a preconception of what you're gonna taste. Um, and uh, like there's been a lot of breweries that produce like blonde stouts. Um, and this is kind of similar to that in where a lot of companies produce barley wines, but they when you get a bar blonde barley wine, you're getting a lot of the same notes you're getting from a, a darker beer, but in a blonder beer. So it's a little bit brighter, a little bit more, um, I don't want to say explosive, but a little bit brighter. Um, and it's really cool. I mean, it's it's definitely like a... Pretty much what he said on the news. Like, vanilla, coconut, kind of popsicle-y kind of thing going on for me right now. But with a ton of booze. But not in a burning way. It's not like hot in the back to where you're like, Oh my god, this is burning my throat. It's just like, it's like candy. It's almost like a Werther's original had sex with like a fluffernutter kind of vanilla bean kind of thing going on. And that doesn't suck. Yeah. Almost like there's a splash of vodka in it. Like a vanilla vodka. That's what I'm actually getting from it. So yeah, not too shabby of a beer. Um, it's delicious. Do I want more? Yes. Um, will I drink more? I don't know. Uh, it's really kind of a hard find in my area. Uh, just came out not too long ago, but I haven't seen it. I was lucky enough to have it on the radio show. So there you go. Rating-wise, I'll give this actually a 94. Um, 
Remy 4 overall. Valued availability. I'm going to skirt over that because I didn't pay for it. And, um, and uh, I haven't seen it in my area yet. So I'm going to skirt over that. 94 overall. I think it's going to age really, really fucking well. I think if you actually sat on this for about one or two years, it'd turn into a totally different beer in a good way. Um, so there you go. Uh, if you like what we like this, it's weird because it's a blonde barley wine. If you like... Um, if you like Sam Adams Griffin's Bow, there's a blonde barley wine they produced about like maybe five years ago. This is similar in a sense, but not the same, but at the same time, a similar kind of body to it. If you like blonde barley wines in general, you like this. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and tap massive beers in all four of those places. And, uh, Another review down. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy the review. Hopefully, enjoying a nice barley wine right now. And uh, hopefully, see you next time. Cheers.